What up, everybody? It's your girl, July, from Kickback Couture. Today's Sunday, so I'm going to be going over a reason device. I'm going to be talking about Pangea today. Now, Pangea is dope. It came in the same update as Humana and Clang. So let's just get straight into it. Right up here, we have the patch selector. We can select patches, go back and forth, previous and next, open up the browser, select one of the pre-designed patches, and we can save our own patch by clicking here and then selecting whatever, wherever we might want to save it and naming it any tags you want as well. After that, we have the master volume, so I do have a brief melody in here. So, sure you know what master volume does now, if you didn't before. Next, we're going to start over here to the left. We have the play control, so we have the pitch wheel, mod wheel, and these three knobs here, which we'll get into. Each time you play a note, this LED will light up to signal that it's receiving MIDI. Then we have this pitch wheel. Right now, it's set to change it by plus or minus two semitones. We can go up to an octave, which is 12 semitones. All right, besides that, we have the mod wheel right next to it, and the mod wheel will be affected by what these knobs are set to. So right now, the frequency, the filter frequency, which is connected to this, is what's connected to the mod wheel. If anything is up at 12 o'clock, straight up, it's not going to do anything, okay? So let's listen. And you can hear that filter opening up, allowing the high frequencies in. Just command click to reset that knob. Now the start, sample start is going to change where the sample starts. So it's just going to shift it. So listen closely. I'm going to move this one because these two are connected. So this is going to be all the way at the start. And as we move this to the left, it will cut off more and more of the transient. So let's listen. All right, let's turn this mod wheel up so we can see what's going on, hear what's going on. You can hear that. As compared to this, that initial transient is gone. So this is what this knob will affect if you would like to modulate that. On the mod wheel, just set that however you would like to. Filter frequency we went over, and then we have level. This is connected to the volume, so if you would like some amp volume to be modulated with this mod wheel, you can dial that in here as well. After that, we have the instrument section. And we have 11 instruments, acoustic zazz, ang klong, bizarre sitar, arp guitar, kindle clavier. I'm not sure how to pronounce all of these, so um, I hope you get the point. <laughs> um, after that, we have the sample start knob, which I said correlates to this. Now, if this is set all the way here, this will not bring it any closer and this is set all the way here if this is set all the way here this knob will not bring it any farther these work together then we have octave plus or minus two after that we have semitones plus or minus 12 And then fine, plus or minus 50 cents. You can use this for some detuning as you please. Then over here we have the filter. We have a low pass, high pass, band pass, and a comb filter. Right, we have the cutoff knobs here. If you want to change that frequency, what you're cutting off, add some resonance. We have the filter envelope. This is going to control how much this is controlling that filter cutoff, this envelope. So right now it's not at all. And now we're adding that shape to the filter cutoff. Now to, to briefly explain the ADSR of the filter, 
the attack is going to be the time it takes the filter to reach the cutoff frequency. So this is 323.9 hertz. So that's how long it takes for the filter to reach this cutoff frequency right here. This would be immediately. Then the decay is the time it takes the filter cutoff frequency to fall from the highest level, that cutoff frequency, to whatever you set the sustain to. So we can put this up high. The sustain is going to set where the cutoff frequency remains, where it sits while the key is held down. Let's bring this down a little bit. And the release is going to determine the speed in which the filter closes once you let go of the key. So listen to this. Hear that instant cutoff as opposed to that. Over here to the right we have the amp. And we have an amp envelope as well. Then we have delay delay time and what you can sync you can turn on ping pong delay to make the delays bounce from left to right we got feedback how many delay repeats damp which will get rid of the high frequencies of those repeats and the amount which will add more delay basically turn up the delays And then reverb. Reverb time, pre-delay, gives a little time before the, the reverb kicks in after the note. Hear that little pause in between the reverb start and the note start, the note end. Then we have high damp. This will turn down the high frequencies of the reverb. Low damp will turn down the low frequencies of the reverb. Often helps with getting rid of some mud. And then we have reverb amount. This will turn down the reverb or turn it up. Flipping to the back, we have a section for sequencer controls, gate, CV. If you wanted to send any notes to this via a matrix or even an arpeggiator, the arpeggiate you can do that as well we have pitch bend cv modwell cv modulation inputs for cutoff resonance and level and if you want to know more about control voltage definitely go check out the video i made on control voltage and if you want you know a bonus some extra stuff to study for reason also check out the combinator video it shows you how to use a combinator i'll put those up in the cards for you so that is basically everything there is to know about Pangea. Besides that, I would explore these instruments on your own time. Learn them. There is an incredible flute in here. There is a great harp guitar. Learn these instruments. Learn where you can fit them in your beats. Just know in general where the so sounds are so you can find them in the future when you have it stuck in your head. Let me know if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I appreciate every single subscriber. It's all culture, kick back, and cook up.